All right, here's a tip for you. And this is something that I brought up in a uh, past event video when I had a, uh, a shield set up over the uh, amplifier modules on our DSR-115 speakers. All right, so we're trying something a little bit different here to keep the sun off the back of the uh, amplifier modules on the uh, powered speakers. Uh, but hopefully it will be enough uh, to keep the, um, the sun off the back of the modules. The tacky things for the uh, covers worked out pretty good for a while, but I think the heat had a lot to do with it. Uh, they would fall off. All right, I think that worked out pretty good, except for its ability to hold the sunshade. I, I've got the same shields, but uh, what I switched to over here was the Velcro. Now, normally I would not be putting Velcro on here because in the past, and I think that really depends upon how strong the Velcro is uh, for how much weight it can hold, but I put some Velcro on a, a doghouse to keep the, uh, the lid closed. But when I would open the lid, uh, the Velcro, it would actually pull the surface and the paint off of the wood. Said, so, no, this is on a doghouse, so it, it really didn't matter. But what I wanted to avoid happening was that if I had to remove the Velcro, I didn't want to cause any damage to the speakers. All right, so what I've done here is I'm using a shock foam. This is extremely lightweight. And this uh, sun shield stuff is glued to this. So I'm just going to take this like it is, put it over it, just give it a little hit, and then we're done. It does a pretty good job keeping everything covered. All right, now the, the only issue with this here that I can tell right now at the moment is going to be the ability for this sticky material to uh, actually stay adhered to this foam. So the uh, on the soft end of the Velcro, this side here is already starting to come up. So I'm sure at some point here, I'm going to have, probably have to end up gluing this uh, the soft side here, the Velcro, to the shock foam just to make sure that it stays in place. All right, before I decided on this type, of cover, I was actually looking at using a rubberized covering on it. However, this is a lot heavier and air cannot get through this. As well, this, this is black and when the sun hits it, this is going to get hot as well. All right, and then using something that would be flat on here. So if I had something I could Velcro there, as you can tell, this is, this is uh, I'm going to say it's not completely sealed, but as you can tell, air really can't get through here. And even with a XLR cable plugged in here for that, in testing it, it still ended up being very, very narrow down here as far as airflow. So this would have probably added issues to any kind of potential overheating that could occur with the amplifier module. Now, if, I, if you look at this, We still have an opening, airflow can still get through, air can come in and out as needed. Now in the sunlight, black cabinets, they can absorb an awful lot of heat. That heat can transfer into the cabinet itself. So when that cabinet heats up, the amplifier module can also start heating up. I want to say maybe it's heating up prematurely. So keeping the sun off the modules greatly helps keep it, to keep the amplifier cool. When the cabinet is heating up and you've got the amplifier module heating up because of all the sunlight that's, that's coming down on it, when that in temperature inside the cabinet starts increasing, that's when uh, something called power compression can start occurring and that's when the driver, specifically the uh, the base or the woofer, when it starts overheating, its resistance starts going up. And then when its resistance goes up, the uh, output drops. So the cooler that you can keep the cabinet, uh, the more efficient the uh, actual the individual driver will be in the cabinet. If you've noticed that your power, it, it sounds like your power has dropped, well, it probably has because as the drivers heat up, 
the resistance goes up. So a lot of times what people do is they'll just they'll get on their faders and they'll start adding more bass or adding more power to make up for it. But all that is doing is causing more heating to occur on the driver. So the cooler you can keep your cabinet, the better. But at least at a minimum, we can keep the amplifier modules somewhat protected. All right, and here we've got the same thing set up for our RCF, the NX45As. All right, and the, uh, the shock foam that we use, uh, this is just some leftover pieces that I had. And this material here, this is just like a, uh, something like a sunshade, something you'd see like covering a patio. Uh, light can get through this, and in looking at it, I would say it's probably blocking 80% of the light. So a little bit of light does get through, but air can get through it as well. A lot of speaker manufacturers do sell uh, rain covers and things like that to protect the back of the modules. Uh, I would probably recommend getting those if you, have, um, if you have speakers where the manufacturer sells those for them. And some people may see this and think, oh, this, this looks ridiculous. But this is the back of the speaker, so all the guests really shouldn't see any of this stuff. And really, it's there for protection. We don't use this all the time on outdoor shows. I only use this when the sunlight is hitting the speakers directly on the back. All right, so it's been about a couple of weeks. And uh, just a long story short, had to redo uh, how the Velcro attaches to the shock foam. So I've had to cut about this much here in the width of it off of each piece of shock foam. So then when I did that, it was easy just to use a self-adhesive Velcro strips to attach to it. I did try to use glue before, but the glue actually never dried. So the self-adhesiveness on a freshly cut uh, shock foam piece. This seems to do the trick. Uh, I've tested that on the speakers. It holds fine. Doesn't come off when you pull it apart uh, like it did before. Okay, so it's just an update and if you're working on something like this, good luck. Alright, thanks for watching.